Uh, questions have been raised about my renting a black and white house. Uh, I was away last week on an official trip. Uh, I was told about some of the things that are, have been said, being said. Uh, these are public properties. People are entitled to ask questions. I know what I did. I kept to the rules. But when questions arise, you know how it works. The government will look into the matter. PM's statement sets that out. I contacted Prime Minister last week. I was in Central Asia, and I think he was in Africa. I suggested that I would like an independent review to look into whether there was any wrongdoing. And you have seen PM's statement. We need this sort of approach, regardless of who is involved, to make sure the system operates with integrity. We cannot let doubts about the integrity of ministers fester and be left unaddressed. I have nothing to hide. We should set out the facts, lay them before Parliament and the people. That's the only way to retain trust. And when Parliament next meets in July, the questions will be dealt with. Allegations have been made, uh, serious allegations. We are confident of how we had conducted ourselves. So we asked the Prime Minister for an independent review. Uh, do you have any specific comments or rebuttals on the allegations that have been made so far? You know, allegations that uh, we have cut down trees illegally, that we got SLA to pay for work done on a car porch. Uh, it is also said that I acted in conflict of interest and so on. Uh, I don't want to comment much until SMTO's review is done, but I will say, speaking from a personal perspective, the allegations are outrageous. Uh, let the agencies do their work and report to the Prime Minister. Let the review be done. Let the facts come out. And then I will respond. And if the review does show some wrongdoing, you know what will happen. I would end by saying, you know, both these properties had been empty for years when we put in our bids. But let people judge for themselves in due time, once they know all the facts. You know, these are public properties. I can see how that without full facts, people, or at least some people, may genuinely have legitimate questions. Uh, but, you know, there have been some assertions made which go well beyond just asking questions. Let the full facts come out, then people can judge for themselves. Minister, you mentioned assertions made. Do you think we might? I think what is important now is we have the facts out in public first. Thank you. You know, there are good answers for all these questions, but uh, there is a review going on, and uh, we should not seek to prejudge. I will be happy to answer all these questions, but I think the proper process should be followed. Thank you. Uh, that is something that, you know, again, let the facts come out in due course. Uh, I, I can understand that all of you have these questions, but uh, it would be highly improper of me. Uh, not that I don't want to answer them, uh, the answers are there, but it will be highly improper of me to go into all of this. Uh, I think when we say there is an independent review headed by Senior Minister Teo and agencies, I think we should let them do their work. And you will have the answers. As PM said, he wants it expeditiously. So you will have your answers uh, soon enough. I'm very glad that Prime Minister Lee agreed to have this review. 
and to publish all relevant facts and findings before we have a full debate in Parliament.